This your boy Big Creep. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. A DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. You already know, you already know, Chaotic Vibes Podcast, man. I feel like man, it's been a minute, man. It's been a little, it's been like a month. <laughs> it's been like a month. We got a special guest in the motherfucking building, 1K1000. What's good, my nigga? Yeah, yeah, you know that. What's going on, big bro? Hey, 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 introduce yourself, first of all, and let everybody know where you're from. I'm 1K1000. I'm from the east side of Atlanta, Decatur, not the six. Got to say that. Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go with this shit again. So, look, look. It's because oh, a lot of people who are watching are not necessarily from here. You say the east side, the cater not. It's like, explain the whole you got geographic of Atlanta and the east side. Because there's a you lot gotta of say that, like, zone six, like, the city. It's yeah. the east side, but it's the city part. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you east, east. Do y'all just say east, east? Like, how, do, how does that work? Like, you far east. Oh, no. AJ, you know them folks, them folks, they get on your ass. You talk about you from Zone 6, you ain't from them. Yeah. You got to be where you from. So, where you from? Like, Wesley Chapel. Whatever. Wesley Chapel. Okay. Through okay. Central. Oh, that way. Oh, you from, that's far east. Nah, that's I don't even go that far. I don't know. That's, that's I'm on Wesley Chapel now out of town. She so still find me there. I ain't mad at that. Uh, 1K went that. So, let, let, first of all, even because even when I met you in the club, I was like, why is your name 1K1? Like, because your name is 1,000, 1,000, essentially. Why? Oh it's just like, I can't, I don't know. I don't know how I came up with that name for real. I know, like, the 1,000 part that come from, like, I like Andre 3000. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not you like, I'm like the reincarnation. I'm the street version. So you like 3,000 huh. Junior. Not even that. It's just how I come. Like, okay. And so so like, it, was, it was really respecting and, and, and honor what he got going on. Kind of. Okay. You know like his craft. Okay. Not him. I don't know him. So I can't. So, because I, I was like, I was like, well, maybe his crew is 1K. Because there's some niggas out here 1K. Uh, we 88. 88. And then this is like, okay. So, like, so really, like, honestly, it's 1K. 1K 1000. And you know, I like it because it makes folks, you got to say it again when you hear like 1K 1000. I didn't want to say it again. I was like, this shit long, nigga. I just want to say 1K, nigga. But they call me 1K. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, cool. Call me 1K. I've been putting the 1,000 on so they know it. Okay. 1K, he 1,000. Okay. You don't play. So, okay. so I met you. Um, we met in a club for anybody who's caring. Uh, we met in a club. I met you with, um, I think he was with Guap and Trevo. Guap Tarantino and Trevo. First night I was with Trevo. So he was with Trevo. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. okay. So, like, in, in my mind, you are almost affiliated with Free Band Gang or you got anything going on with them or is that just platonic? I would say like I'm not like free bands or nothing but I, I know folks over there like I know Guap and them and our folks just in the street dealing. Oh yeah, okay, you know okay, okay. Saying? So, so it's not it's not a it's not a label thing. It was nah, more of a just you know that's my nigga type. That's thing. my nigga. Okay, my okay, okay. That's, 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 the, me, the main, that's not that's not a bad crowd to move around with. Them niggas just moving around doing anything. Nah, moving, motion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you know you gotta ask for time because niggas be secretly in in label deals and don't want to tell nobody. Nah, I ain't like that. Ain't I can't nothing. wait to brag. <laughs> 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 they go. Yeah, so you so you looking to get signed? I ain't even looking to get signed right now. I'm just building my fan base. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? How you how do you feel like that's going? Like being in Atlanta, that's just uh, that's some tough shit. Like it's um I got a million artists in my in my computer. Like how does that feel? How do you how do you bring about it's a new like, artist to this type of crowd in this market? Me really how I've been moving cuz like I had to like get myself in the mind to be like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what you mean? Saying, like my approach like I had to get like a real business approach about yeah. myself. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how I want to be presented. Like, when you meet me, I don't want you just saying, like, he another rapper. Yeah. I want you to be like, oh, he got something going on. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? That's why, that's how I conduct myself. It's hard, though, because people don't take you serious. Everybody rap out here. Everybody in their mother. <laughs> hey, I, I work at a strip club. Every dancer I know got a song. Every, every, it's, you know, it's getting yeah. to the point, every dancer in the club got a nigga, song. Nigga, nigga, my security got a song. <laughs> my chef got a song. No okay, care, I ain't bullshit. <laughs> Trying to blow. I'm dead ass. <laughs> nigga, everybody got a song. <laughs> oh so it's God. like, how do you enter? Like, this is Atlanta. This is like the mecca of this shit right now. So it's like, how do, you, how do you even maneuver in a space like that? Out here, it's really about being seen and being consistent. Yeah. Cause a lot of folks say they a lot of folks have ways out here and they die down. Mm-hmm. Once you die down, it's like this ain't the city you want to die down in. Cause you'll become local so quick. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I ain't lying. That's you a fact, become though. local. That's you become fact. local and nobody. Uh, it ain't moving like that. So it's like you got to keep yourself. You got to. I don't know. You got to keep yourself like reinventing yourself constantly. How like as an artist, how do you feel that you know that process is? 
I'm not gonna lie. As an artist, I'm cocky. Like in the studio, mm -hmm. studio wise, I feel like I'm hard. Yeah, I can keep do, this. Do, I can keep it going. Do do that. Do that persona carry outside? Like, are you just like, are you better in the studio? Or are you more comfortable? It's starting to carry in the outside now. Okay. Cause I'm how long being, you like, been rapping? Seriously, like, how long you want to say seriously, show? We pushed it for real. Two years. Two years? Two years. So really like a year and six months. Like the first six months you weren't serious. You, you, you know, were you, serious, you just didn't know what the fuck you was doing. Yeah, I ain't had nothing out okay. neither. I'm just working. Okay. So I ain't, I'm rapping, but nobody know you rap. Okay. I ain't putting nothing out yet. What was your first song? My first song. I was like, I ain't my first. You know what, what we going to say on this? I'm going to give y'all that first. My first song was Fake Love. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless that's my, that's my first Two million song. streams Fight Love. Say that. Two million streams We just did that <laughs> Okay Shout out to them two Jabbar and Show 2 for that Okay What happened what, they, they plugged that in Or that was just the, That's how y'all started working together Show started off like Recording me uh -huh. Just brought me under Engin his wing Your engineer Yeah he's my okay. manager now He's okay. two of my managers now well, Look at you Promotion he, um, he, yeah. put, he put Jabbar in the mix Cause what he got going on Everything yeah. just makes sense I've been going up since then though, Since so, I got with them two So how, how do you align yourself With a Jabbar Like we're not just going Like I hate when y'all come in here And y'all just like to breeze by Like important <laughs> shit drop a knife. Like yeah like Oh yeah Jabbar's on team now Like nigga hold on Wait a minute Like how do you align yourself with someone like like that's that's one of the biggest in the city? You know what I'm saying? No disrespect. That's one of the biggest in the city. He probably like one of the biggest promoters. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you align yourself with that? Like I be real when, when they when they gave me the phone call, I didn't even know the nigga had artists. Like I was like, he got artists. Like who got, I didn't even know this nigga did no shit like that. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you align yourself with somebody like that? Just really off of show where the mouth and I met Jabbar and he just felt my vibe. He liked yeah. my vibe. And he just Exactly. I treat him like big bro. He tell me anything. He chump me off. I'm yeah. put my head down. Be humble about it. <laughs> hey, it's, it's hard to be that humble though, especially when you cocky. Cause I can't nobody tell me shit. I'm gonna fuck who you are. I come from like man, folks don't help you. Yeah. So somebody help you and they take it for real, like real deal help me. I take that serious. I'm not gonna play with it. Man, I feel like I feel like yeah. it's, it's probably like one or two people I listen to for real, for real. For real, for real. I'm still you know gonna how I go with this. Fuck you, nigga. Like, man. With this music, it be folks you think they got your best interest. There go Trevor right here. It be folks they think got your best interest, but they don't. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta know what to listen to and know what not to. Cause they'll yes. break your spirit. That real. God. That real. So 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 let's talk about a little bit of the upbringing. Like you say, you from the East Side. Yeah. Decatur. Let's let's get to the Far East. He's from Far East. Don't say Far East. You know, that's like, far, I'm from, bro. I'm that's from far. apartments, man. Roaches are. Nigga, from the that's <laughs> far. Okay. I'm, I live you in the city, that. dog. Oh, yeah. You say okay. you stay in the city. I done been like, you know, West Chapel Turner Flat shows too quick. Nigga, I live on 17th Street. Oh, yeah, you in the no, city, man. Yeah, you don't do that, city, man. <laughs> this is the farthest east I'm coming. Yo, you know no cap. So you far east. Yeah. But uh, what is it like... Um, Indicator, like, what is it? What, what is that like growing up? How is that? I ain't gonna lie to you, like, you in the midst of everything for real. Cause one thing about the east side, everybody come through the east side. Yeah. For something. That's a fact. Everybody come through the east side for something. So you you always run into folks. You always run into folks like that. You know? But you know, it's like anywhere else. It's it's people that have some bullshit. It's yeah. Some real folks over there. It's okay. some everywhere. It's just. But like y'all y'all. I'm not gonna say y'all, but the East Side has produced. Some we the of wave the right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't produce some of the biggest. Like, y'all got them out here, so it's like. The East Side, like, how the West Side used to be. I can give you that. I can give Remember you that. the West Side? At one yeah. point in time, they had all the yeah. artists. Yeah. Now it's just the, it's the East Side turn. Like, but does does that have anything to do with how it is out there? Like, uh, is it pressure out there? What's going? Like, what is going on that everybody is coming out the motherfucker like <laughs> hot grease? I think everybody just feel like, I know a lot of folks I know they just feel like they like everybody hold like down like, yeah. on against them, so everybody just going hard over here for real for real. Okay. We ain't got like one thing I can say we don't got though, it's just starting to get like people clicking up and you seeing like groups of different folks moving together. Yeah. That, if we get like that, it's over with. Oh for like for real. people helping people. Like, Y'all ain't helping us. We helping like, but I feel you, like that's Atlanta's like DNA. Yeah, it look good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta read between the lines. It look good, okay. but is it really like that? Okay, I don't really be like that. I feel it. So, like, give me some of your early inspiration. Like, when when did you feel like you know what this what this what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rap, or even like when I start when you start playing with it. You know what I'm saying? Like um, beating on the table in the cafeteria. Really, just like when I started getting like all my folks behind me to be like, damn, we need to do that. 
Yeah. Do that. Like, oh yeah, I could do it for real. I'm saying like, I've what, been, like what got to what even got you to the point to doing it where to people, start rapping? Yeah. My brother. Yeah. For real, for real. We had like a little group, like some kid type yeah. stuff. And I just from there they ain't wanna rap no more. They just thought I was good. Like you keep getting better. We're not getting better. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just took it seriously. Like what at what point in, in life is this like I'm saying? Like, it's like I wanna say like right after my mom passed. Yeah. Rest in peace, I'm sorry. Yeah, rest in peace, my mom. Yeah. RP V. Yeah, like right after my mom passed. Yeah. For real. That will keep me rapping on, like going through real life stuff. Yeah. You have something to say. I ain't no talkative person. Like if you meet me, I'm kicking it. What's up? Yeah, I ain't never talked to you. For real. Not for real, for real. For real, yeah, but I, I, I ain't no shy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm one of those I ain't got yeah, I speak when I need to. Yeah, speak when spoken to. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that at all. So like let's get into some like early inspiration. What what artists were you listening to to say, you know what, I could do that. I think that's hard. Future and Thug. Future and Thug. Early Future and Thug. <laughs> Early How Future and Thug. 24. 24? Okay. Yeah. Early Future and Thug. Sense. Like what? Like, like, like I came from nothing, Thug. Okay, I was going to say what? Like, like what the rapping Thug. Yeah. Like, like. Is like, he Wayne like, or is little, he Thug? Lil Dread. Lil <laughs> Dread yeah. Thug. I got you. Oh, and I like the old Future. Yeah. You like fucking with the new Future? Like when you he came out with Future. New, you fucking with the new Future? He the wizard. He always going to keep the way. He the way. Him the and Thug the way. For real, for real. Doug ain't dropped shit in a minute. But he's the way. You got to, uh, I didn't see him. Yeah. Like, and I've been around folks like, I see how he do, he the way. Yeah. He the way. For real. I ain't mad at that. Future and fucking Thug. So them, them your early inspirations. Them like, and like Andre 3000. I listen to real rap, rap too, like yeah. Wayne. Like the Carter 2 Wayne. I mean, I wouldn't say Future and Thug is not real rap. No, I'm just, just saying like bar for bar, like bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I listen to rappers like that, like okay. Jules Santana. Oh, Wayne. Oh, oh. That's the I can't feel my face. Don't take it to heart. Don't do that. Don't do that. I used to like them too when they were doing yeah. it. Yeah. I like the old Wayne. I don't like anything from like the Carter Three. I'm straight on. But the Carter, Carter Three, Carter Two, Carter Five. You straight on? Uh, it's Explain cool. yourself, young man. Man, the Carter Two is his hardest album, bro. Carter. To me, like that's the album I'm, he I've broke always, out. That's the I've, album he I've, broke out. I've of. always been a fan of Carter One. My personal opinion. I always we argue about this shit all the time. You said the Carter One. Carter One is my personal. The Carter One ain't got that many songs. It, on it. it don't need it. It don't need that many songs. They got how many songs you remember off Carter One off the top of your head? At least five of them. I think. <laughs> I I can't name too many off Carter Two. That but see you know what though like at that point in my in my life. Yeah. I was going through some other shit, so I, had to, I wasn't a, really paying attention. To I'm a real kid. I'm listening. I'm at the house playing a game. Nah, we listening to that. Nah, nah, we was in we was in the trenches, Carter too. <laughs> nah, uh, but, in Gua too. I can't yeah. forget him. Oh yeah, I mean you got you got to shout out a I'm real from the east, side. east side nigga. Yeah. Like you can't. He that's back when he used to come to the schools and all that. Big Gua was coming to the schools. Yeah, Big Gua I used to be outside the school. Doing right. what? Man, you know they had them come through for like. The, um, you oh, know, like, in them little weeks, yeah, 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 them yeah, spirit yeah. weeks like, and stuff like, like that. Uh, what the fuck y'all call them shits? I forget what y'all. <laughs> Pet rallies, Pet or something. Rally. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Man, we don't have those in New York, so I don't, I don't know anything about that. But, <laughs> you uh, know, it's country out here, man. Yeah, y'all niggas is different out here for sure. Like, but like, it, and that's and that's in essence what I'm speaking on. Like, coming from Atlanta is is a whole different vibe than coming from anywhere else in the city. Like, I've I just was saying this the other day. Like, I hate going somewhere. And trying to do Atlanta shit, cause that's when you miss Atlanta. You be like, oh, I yeah. can't even do that out here. Like, yeah. I told the bitch to get naked in <laughs> Alabama, and they was like, chill, like they don't get naked. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, like, you know what I'm saying? This is not Atlanta. We got, we got probably like the best like nightlife. Nightlife? Like strip clubs and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, this is this the strip club capital for yeah. sure. We got yes. the most strip clubs in this city than any other yeah. city. Um, no, nah, I don't. I don't think anybody is touching the nightlife out here for real, for real. Not for real, for real. Like, you know, Dallas and Houston got, like, close. Miami, Miami's hard. I ain't going to lie. Miami is hard. But I don't think it quite gets it this like, essence. I say I say we This the is the most Hollywood shit I've yeah. ever seen in my life. No cap. We and I've hardest, been to Hollywood. We the hardest because regular people can feel like they Hollywood in the that, clubs that's out here. That's what I'm saying. Like, every, nigga, as long as you can get you a Hellcat <laughs> in the middle, you straight. Yo, how many niggas y'all niggas know with a Hellcat? Too many. Too many. But First thing they do. Nigga. I got to get the Hellcat. Nigga, you go to the one right now. It's 30 <laughs> Hellcat. You thought you was at the Dodge dealership, nigga. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going in one. No, I ain't got no. I, I can't do it. I ain't getting no Hellcat. I, I don't even like. That was great. Nah, fuck that shit. But I say all that to say, 
do you feel like there's some type of prayer? Like, everybody's Hollywood here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, there's six superstars in this room right now. Everybody in here got their own following of nice. people who saying, you that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So how do, it, you, how do you feel? It different. It, it's different from, like, people like, you know you got a following, right? Yeah. And you know your following might be bigger than somebody. If I'm not going to help this man, I ain't finna down talk this man, though. Yeah. I just, okay, that's what you got going on. I go on about my business. A lot of folks ain't like that out here, though. Yeah. It's like, when they get what they got going on, that's it. And, like, people just, I don't know. Me, it's a lot of folks that ball on me. I ain't hold no grudge. Yeah. If I can help, I'm going to help. Yeah. Cause I know what it's like to not have no help and be looking for your way out here. That's a fact. Anything, like, just like how I met you. Yeah. I met you after somebody bringing me to you. No, yeah. no charge or nothing. Yeah. Just love, because that's help. That's a fact. Whatever I do with that is on me after yeah. that. But that's a fact. You and you me? ended up here, and that's dope. That's hard. I ain't going to lie. But I'm saying all that to say, like, is it? Do you feel pressure trying to come out of Atlanta with so much? It's so many, like, is it's so many people trying to do the same thing in the same fashion with the same group of people. There's niggas that go to Jabal parties and say, I'm going to go to Jabal party mm -hmm. and talk to whatever DJ he got going, and I'm going to try to pop. You know what it's, what a lot, it's a lot of pressure. And it, it's so much pressure because it's like, once you get to, like, a stage where they see you, mm -hmm. it's even more pressure because now you want, like, you can't stop seeing me. Yeah. Like you got to see me. Every time you see me, I got to keep going. Yeah. Bigger. You can't see me in a decline. Yeah. And then it's worse than when you're not an established artist because you really know you working for everything you got. You could lose anything at any moment. How expensive oh is this shit? Talk to him. How expensive is this shit for real? Be man, real. Man, man. I know I'm in, I know I know I'm in every artist's pocket right now. So I know this shit get tough. Man, you spending way more than you probably make at first, yeah. I can say. At first, you spending a lot. It's it's pay for everything. Yeah, nothing's free. Yeah, like stuff you I thought was free. <laughs> man, nigga, you crazy, I ain't never man. thought that was free, nigga. You pay for that. Yeah, everything. then then don't let you act like it's a problem paying. Oh, he's yeah. too broke. Yeah, <laughs> you want to work with him? Yeah. So you just gotta. So I, like 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 roughly this. like roughly just for artists thinking this shit is sweet. Y'all give me a number to estimate. Like a monthly total on, on being a new artist. <laughs> Don't give me the real number. Just give me a little estimate. Every day, every day, every day, you got to spend. It's little things that you don't even count. Like, even like from the jump drives to the yeah. DJs to the, to a drink. But, you know, even dinner. But, um, right now, we got like 50K. You know what I'm saying? 50K what? 50K. Up what? Just money. Oh, just I, year. Like, into it. Oh, that's just what y'all already doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. 50 racks. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But then it's like, you got to keep going. You know, you know you own a business. Oh, no, I know, like, shit, nigga. Oh, Trust me, I, but 50K? 50K? You Like, somebody, somebody told me the other day, came to me, I'm not going to say his name, cause that's my, but that's my man, so everybody know. Came to me and said, I put 28,000 behind this record. $28,000 behind this record. We ain't fucking with that record no more. We moving on. Whoa. What? Whoa, nigga, 28K? Did take, did take. A, a record. Two guys ready to move off fake love. We ain't done with it. But see, like, and, and so, like, that, and that, that is something I always like to talk on because as a DJ, we know in, in our heart of hearts, it takes damn near a year just to even break a record. You know what I'm saying? And for the record to live for maybe three months, four months. How is it as an artist to stay focused on it? Or do you not even worry about that? You just keep making music and let the it team work, worry about it. It be like, when I say, like, I'm ready to get out fake love, they be like, hey, you don't like your song? It's not even that. You got to understand, I be in the studio every day. Yeah. So I make I make new songs. You know how you get that vibe? Oh, this yeah. one, this it, this yeah. it. And so it's just like, you lose your track of, it's like patience. You but like, then, just losing then patience. I do hear a lot of artists say, you know, I don't even like that song. Though. Like, I ain't going to lie. Um, Summer Walker came to the club, and she was like, oh, yeah, don't, don't, don't play. Uh, what's the fucking song she got with Drake? Oh, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever that song is. She was like, don't play that no more. I, I was like, huh? She was like, I hate that song. <laughs> but it's like, why? How, does you, how do you get to that point? Like, that, that song just, has two million uh, streams. It's like, I don't know, just because, like, it ain't no song. I don't really say I don't like that song. Hey, you just got, like, as an artist, you just got that vibe, like, your go-to vibe. Yeah. Like, fake, fake love, love ain't my go-to vibe. So what, but you, I was like being, song, you was being fake when you made that fake nah, love? I was being honest, but it's just like where I'm coming from. I'm fresh out of jail. Yeah. Was first okay. day out the county for real. Okay. I'm in the that, state was, that was the first yeah. out the county? Yeah, fake I, love? Me and him, he had the beat ready for me. Already. He produced the beat. Yeah. 
So, so how long you sat down for? A little petty. Just okay, a little petty not right? what you sat down for. I don't care what you, how long did you sit down No, I just, it wasn't nothing little, sincere. I don't little, little shit. <laughs> I'm do my little okay. problems on him. I ain't mad. <laughs> I did a little song quick, but yeah. I had to go through a little situation. I just got out. I did the song. Then after that. Was it written before you, like, did you I don't hear write the beat? No music. Oh, you don't write music? I rap off the top of my head. Every day. Every song I make. Talk about the process. It ain't no process, really. We I going mean, it got to be a process. You got to walk in the studio and do something. <laughs> um, I, I roll some weed. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that on the on there, but yeah, yeah I, I roll up. That's about it. And so, I was just off the top of the So door. you walked in and made a, a, a smash hit, Fresh Out of County. Oh, no God. thought, no. You went in the in, oh, in the spot. Dude, nobody be believing it. He be there with me. I'm straight off the top. So what time. what the studio look like when you when you when you making these smash hits? Some days it just be me in there. Yeah. I didn't. He didn't taught me how to record myself. A lot of time it been just me in there now. Oh, that's how you got a promotion, motherfucker. <laughs> nigga that taught the nigga how to do it. It's shit. He didn't want to record nobody. Niggas, no I don't even want to do this. <laughs> press the button, nigga. Oh, I had to filter. Or sometimes, sometimes it do be vibed out like yeah. me and Bro been vibing out like yeah. It be deep in there. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer, you know, are you the, are you the artist in there with the candles, with the lights out? Are no, you, I'm lights out, though. You lights out? It's dark enough. It's dark, for sure. Dark enough. No candles? No candles. Even no, when you made Fake Love, you ain't no candles? Uh, fake Love, we had the lights on. I'm just ready to <laughs> rap. I ain't gonna lie, I did Fake Love sober. Yeah. Oh God, I ain't smoking. Yeah. I ain't smoking. I just got out there. Do do that. Do that make. Do that make you feel like fuck it. I need to just go sober. I just did too many streams with that motherfucker. Like, I need to sober this bitch up. Yeah, no, it make me feel like I gotta make more fake love. <laughs> I need more two men. A thousand times out now. Get that today. What was that? Okay, cool. Cool. I'm glad you did that little plug. This nigga here is a shameless plug king. Man. I ain't mad at that. Hey, hey. So, um, let's speak on the mixtape. Uh, what is it? A thousand times. A thousand times. So it's one. Okay, see, I was reading. The it's cover. really, but when you look at the cover, it's one k, a thousand times. See, Instead I did the same one k, one thousand, a thousand times. That's what. That's why. I, that's that's why I was getting that because it was like. Then I didn't know if the the package store shit was the name of the tape. So I was just I was a little confused. But uh-huh. so the name of the tape is a thousand times. Yeah. What are people looking for when they getting this? When you hear a thousand times, what it really mean? It's just like. Man, folks done counted me out. Folks done, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna happen for you. you know? Yeah. It's down time. See, I can keep doing that. I'm gonna keep coming. I'm so gonna what, come back what, bigger every time. What kind of music are we looking for on this on this project? And when did the pro- first of all, when did the project drop? It dropped May 22nd. May 22nd, okay. And on the project, it's like, it's like my first solo project, like okay. real project. This is your first mixtape? Yeah. Okay. First real project. Uh-huh. So it's like, it's like an introduction. Just out the intro, you getting introduced to me. Okay. You gonna know my problems, and then like the second song is just going. It's like me. It just it's me. struggle music. It's struggle music. It's a little okay. vibe music too. Okay. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a little pain music. What what uh what 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 single are we pushing off of this? Just so people know. Off oh, of the mixtape right now. Yeah. The single I like is backstage. No 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 no. What's the single you pushing? Backstage. Not the single <laughs> you like. I'm hey. Best are you are you the artist? Is it is it hard? I it's not for you. Is it hard to talk to him and say this is the song we pushing? This is what we got going on. Yes. Okay. Okay. He get the see Jabbar don't get that. You oh, cause that's man? Big Bro, and you listen to Big Bro. He Big Bro too, but that's the Big Bro I can argue with. <laughs> I go me and him go at it. Okay. Yeah. I could argue with you. So, 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 so is backstage legitimate? You know, is it videos coming forward? Is yeah. it? See, backstage, I like the reception I begin on backstage. Yeah. And I just like the vibe it is. Okay. It's a different vibe from Fake Love, too. Okay. That's what you was going That's for. That's what I want. I don't want them folks. I ain't one of them rappers, man. You're going to hear like three, four of the same. Man, that yeah. sound the same, man. Yeah. No. Like, they get it twisted yeah. out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could rap any type of way they want to so rap. So, kind of speak on, on backstage a little bit. It just really sound like uh, you know how do you you know how these females is out here in the A. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was something about yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna keep a bad stage. Yeah. Who uh produced? Uh my boy produced by G. He a uh, up and coming producer too. Okay. He, uh, he like seventeen. Okay. Say no more. Shout so, out to him. So let's uh let's introduce backstage right quick. Let's let the people listen to it. Oh yeah. Oh, introduce it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. One count one thousand, man. Backstage off a thousand times, man. My new single, man. NDORadio.com. K.
1000 and this motherfucker that was backstage off the mixtape a thousand times. So, like, is that the vibe provided throughout the mixtape? I want to say, like, the mixtape is, like, something you could really, like, if you listen to it, you could ride in your car. You might pull up to the club. You know what I'm saying? You might be in your feelings. Might hear one you like. Yeah. It's just... I ain't one rapper that just rap about one thing a whole project, cause that mm-hmm. don't make sense. People ain't in one mood no yeah. the whole day. Not. That, 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 that's a fact. <laughs> that's a big dog fucking fact. I'd so, be a fool just lying like I'm happy all the time. Yeah. So so um what as an artist, I always like to figure out what is like an artist fear of yours. An uh, artist fear of mine. Like everybody has some type of fear, whether it be, you know, one hit wonders or, you know, going viral for the wrong reason, getting beat up in the mall, you know, whatever the, the situation is. I ain't scared of that. I ain't scared of that. Damn, ain't man. no pressure on that. Hey, man, hey, man, man, you going to do what you got to do with me. Yeah. But my fear, I ain't even fearing of being like a one hit wonder. Yeah. I'd be cool with that. I did it. Yeah. But I just fear like just not going nowhere with it, like doing nothing. Yeah. That would make me be like, I got to work. Yeah. Got to go hard. I, I don't want to be no fair, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel you. You look at me in a couple months like, damn, you used to rap, didn't you? What you doing now? What you doing now, bro? Hey, nigga, come I'm up at the gas station. Still rapping, nigga. Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't want to be that. I have seen that. Yeah, no, matter of fact, we don't know. Oh, we just, I just seen it happen to somebody the other day. Shit, I see it happen every day. Yeah. I see a nigga like I tell people all the time. Your song will go from ten o'clock to one o'clock <laughs> to three o five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's just, that's just how that's the nature of it. Yeah. It's up to you to come back with something else to go at one o'clock. But I think a lot of artists be like, they get how it's happening now. A lot of people blow up real fast. Yeah. So that might been like his. That might have been like out of all his sessions, he's just getting in that groove and making good songs. Yeah. You didn't blew up off that one. Now you on the road doing all that. Them folks can't yeah. keep finding no vibe. They ain't get no chance to get <laughs> yeah. get better. I ain't yeah. like you can't rap and not get better. Yeah. You wasting your time. Yeah. For real, for real. You got to progress in this. This is like anything you do. That's a fact. Wow. So, so what's next? Like, we, we, we got the mixtape May 22nd and came out. What's next? What are we working on next? Um, pushing my singles. More videos. Uh-huh. Just more. Uh, people about to just start seeing me okay. everywhere from every angle. Are, are we looking forward to some new music? I know how you move, you know what I'm saying? You're in the studio every day. I got, some new music. I, got some about. New, I got some new music when it comes. Somewhere. Matter of fact, I, I know I got some new music. <laughs> I got, I got, got new exclusive. music before I got the old music. So so what are we working on next? Are we are we looking at a collaborative project coming out? See, we don't even want to. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> We don't want to talk about that, but me and my boy Trevor, we finna, yeah. we finna wake a lot of us up. Okay. Shout out to Trevor. He's doing his thing yeah, out shout here. Shout out to Lil Trevor. Most devil. So, so like, we can't get a little, is it, is it, it going to be a project? Or oh, is it's it going to be, be a song? It's going to be, like, I don't even want to say a project or something. It's going to be a wave. Okay. We finna be like a whole wave. Okay. For real, like, bro. it's a, it's a. <laughs> for real, for real. We finna be a wave. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad yeah, at that. I ain't mad at that. Oh, um, do we do we got some new videos coming out? Yeah. Okay. Visuals out the tape. To uh to, to backstage, anything. Sp- okay. Backstage visual coming soon. Okay. It's already done. It is. Talk to me about it. Oh, you know, <laughs> this nigga got all these secrets now. Yeah. Yeah, God damn it. <laughs> nigga came in like, nigga, we talk about everything. <laughs> Fuck that shit. No, I don't want to talk about that. You got to ask it for dates. What's his that? Date no, no, no. I ain't got no date. Just, yeah. you know, talk to me about it. Like, what's up? What you know, y'all the backstage doing? video. That's yeah, going to be crazy. Somebody sucking dick in the back. He can't do it. That uh, is right. I'm, I'm, trying, just, I'm know, trying to make the TV screen. I'm trying to make the TV screen. We're trying to make the TV this motherfucker. Fuck it. Somebody need to bring back BET Uncut. I'ma just put that on air. They bring BET Uncut back. <laughs> Niggas need to bring that shit back, <laughs> man, for real. Oh god. So no, I'm um, about to be any folk face stuff. Yeah. Anything specific we need to know about? One thing y'all need to know about me is like, if you don't know me now, you gonna want to get acquainted with me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Cause like I'm really about to be something. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not playing. You still, you still, you still go back to the east side. I stay there now. You stay on the east side. Okay. Ain't nothing changed with me yet. Okay. I'm still the same. Okay. It's just a little. You sure? Like you know, like you know, like when you start going back to the hood, or you, you know, you still living in the hood, niggas be like, damn, nigga, you change. Or one thing about us, 
we ain't my folks. We ain't rich, but we been getting money. Yeah. We know how to survive. We yeah. gonna survive. That's Everybody facts. around me gonna survive. That's a fact. It's, it's uh, gonna look good regardless. It's always, but it's always, you know, it's always. It's like your set of people, then yeah. it's like like that sublet group. It, it's them folks that you don't, it only folks that treat you like, huh, you don't mess with us. It be the folks that never helped you do nothing. Yeah. That's a fact. It be so many folks in my DM like, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you never said nothing to me, man. Yeah. <laughs> and why? I could up. dig it. Um, I'll take it. Go ahead and give me some shout outs before we get up out of here, man. man. Shout out to Ordinary Genius Music. Ordinary shout who? Out. Ordinary Genius Music. Genius? Yeah. Okay. That's the management. Okay, you know shout them out. Yeah, got to shout the management. 88, that's the crew. That's okay. my crew, 88 Way. Global State, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody that, everybody got This nigga been me. quiet the whole <laughs> time. This nigga just going, like, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, like everybody that. that just helped me, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Everybody just got to play a part into this. You now, you, you got to give proper shout outs because, you know, niggas is going to DM you about this when they see it and be like, hey, nigga, you ain't shout me out. When I say 88 my family, they know who they is. <laughs> well, I just, hey, I just don't want to mm, like, nah. well, can you edit this thing? Like, I ain't got nothing nah, for you. Yeah, I got to shout out to my cameraman, man. They hard, man. Okay. Uh, NDO. Oh, yeah, NDO radio. NDO. I'm tripping. NDO. I'm on your show, not even Yeah, nah, that's you know, love. Man. It's love. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, appreciate my boy, for having me. That's just definitely. love. I just met bro last, last week. Yeah, that's real life. You've been real. That's real life. Most definitely. So, Chaotic Vibe Podcast, DJC Chaos, NDORadio.com. We signing off.